Met Sport Top Notchers, Hard Work is Key to Success. Out of the 4,092 examinees in the March 2019 Medical Technologist Board examination, two aspiring healthcare practitioners topped the exams with a board rating of 91.10. They are John Stewart Wayne Navista Alberto of Cagayan State University Andrews Campus and Zyra de Leon Mundurden of Far Eastern University Nicanor Reyes Medical Foundation. While both of them got similar scores, their stories prove that there is no template to asking the board exam. Alberto said that he's a happy-go-lucky student who loves to play online games. He admitted that he wasn't an achiever during his elementary and secondary years. He didn't care much about his rank in class during his first two years in college and started to become a consistent dean's lister only on his third year. During his review for the board exams, Alberto turned to mobile games to help him cope with stress and pressure, as well as to relax when he could no longer absorb new information. The case is different with 22-year-old Mundurden. Mundurden graduated summa cum laude at the FIAN RMF and was class valedictorian of Fiori Delk Armillo School in Quezon City in her high school. Unlike Alberto, Mundurden took her board exams review seriously. Mundurden shared a tip that helped her study more effectively. Make sure na handy copy at pag nagaral kazi mass effective young nagaral na na kachilog ka. Na kakagiltin gan na parang na iisip mo na ang haba ang iulog mo tapos dipat in aral mo na ang pero mensent no regrets. Yun naman po yung tamang iulog lang. Hindi young soberang hama o soberang ikli kazi po mas na absorb po young information pag well rested ang brain. Make sure that you're not sleepless when studying because getting enough sleep makes studying more effective. You sometimes feel guilty thinking how long you've slept and that you should have spent it studying but sometimes, there are no regrets. Consider getting the right amount of sleep not too long nor too short, because the brain can absorb more information if it is well rested. She said that when she found out she had topped the board exam, she was in utter disbelief. Pairing Totobata na binagesa akintu? Cause I believe na there's always someone na more hard working, more deserving, tapos binagesa akinsoyan? Pairing sober and thankful ko not of thousands yen and na nakiv ko yun. Is it really true that this was given to me? Because I believe that there's always someone who's more hard working, more deserving, and then this was given to me so I am very much thankful that out of the thousands, of board exam takers. I was able to achieve this. Common ground. But despite the contrast in the two, both top notchers showed discipline and determination to achieve success. When Alberto's professors started to notice his potential in class, he said he strove hard for the board exam. The same is true with Mundurden, who believes that hard work is also the key. Pag nag work hard ka, pag pinilant mo talaga ang sarili mo na gusto mong ma achieve ang something, pairing binibigay talaga. If you work hard, if you force yourself to achieve something you want, it will be given to you, Mundurden said. Mundurden, also an academic scholar, said that she had also faced hardships while studying. Part alaga and pagaral young hardships, Hindi mo matatangle yun or may i e was since a student life. 
being important when you're faced with hardships, Hindi Kamaji give up Kaya you do your best. Hardships are part of studying, you can't remove or avoid them in student life. What's important is that when you're faced with hardships, you don't give up so you do your best. Mundradin, who is a resident of Bulacan, said that commuting to Manila every day during her review has become a struggle for her. Commuting and every day is physically exhausting. Because of, long distance and traffic. She said. Another struggle is practicing self-control. I think my greatest struggle is self-control. During the review I took short breaks in between studying if I feel that I'm not doing it good anymore. It would be so much easier to put down what you are studying and just let yourself be carried away, to just let yourself go. But she said that she didn't let it discourage her. What's important is to pick yourself up and do better next time, she added. Make your own future. For her, learning doesn't end after graduation and after taking the licensure exam. She believes that it's a lifelong process. Taking the board exam, for example, is just one phase of life. You make your own future. Hindi po yun ibe be gay so yo. Hindi po yan nakakanang basta basta, na isu spoon feed ling so yo, like kung gusto mong maka yung gusto mo, you have to work for it. You make your own future. It's not something that's given to you. You don't get it just like that, that it's just spoon fed. If you really want to achieve what you want, you have to work for it. Meanwhile, Mundrin draws inspiration from her family. Saying that her success is made possible by them. I was not alone in this journey. My family was with me every step of the way. I met a lot of people and became dear friends with them and greatly appreciate and am thankful to my professors who taught me well.